lot of people are, are talking about the specs inside these phones, even though features are more important these days, and that seems to be what people are shopping for, the specs are still important. And so let's start with the processors inside both the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, so they both, in America, have uh, quad-core Qualcomm processors. Mm -hmm. uh, Samsung's is 1.9 gigahertz. Uh, this uses the new uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, 800 chip. Uh, in America, the performance is pretty much a wash. Mm -hmm. uh, in Europe, you get Samsung's Exynos octa-core processor, the first octa-core on the market. Right. But unfortunately, because of LTE, we don't get it here in America for some reason. So we don't get the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got to move to Europe to get the to get the fastest processing phone. You just have to use it over 3G. And they both have two gigs of RAM. So I, I think it might be a wash in terms of processing performance, at least until we can do our full benchmarks. But what about expandable memory? So Samsung has a micro SD card slot that can be expanded up to 64 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. And so even though both phones come with 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of internal memory, mm -hmm. uh, the big difference here is that you can easily and cheaply expand your Samsung phone's memory. And in fact, if you're buying a Galaxy S4 or any other phone with a micro SD card slot, I would highly recommend that you don't pay extra to get the 32 or 64 gig. We've identified that as one of our kind of tech ripoffs mm -hmm. because it's so inexpensive to buy a micro SD card that it's like $23 to get a 32 gigabyte card. Right. So that makes a huge difference in storage. One other critical spec is the screen size as well as the quality and the type of technology that it's using. The HTC One has a 4.7 inch display with 1080p resolution. So it has more pixels per inch than the five inch Samsung Galaxy S4. We also found that it's a lot brighter in our test. You actually went guerrilla style at the, game, the Samsung Galaxy S4 event and you found that it's actually significantly dimmer than this. Yeah, one. so that's only 258 lux on our light meter, which is almost half of the 463 lux on the HTC One. Mm -hmm. Of course, we can't say whether that was a pre-production model we saw or not, mm -hmm. but that would jive with the HTC, uh, with the, that would jive with the Galaxy S3, mm -hmm. uh, which had an even lower uh, lux rating. So the last part is, uh, when it comes to specs, is the battery capacity. We don't know the overall battery life yet of the Galaxy S4, but in the tests of this one over 3G, we got close to seven hours. So I would expect over LTE to be closer to six, which is right around our average. Not great. And that's out of a 2300 milliamp hour battery. The S4 is going to have 2600, but it's also dealing with a bigger display. Do you think, what do you think that's going to mean? I think it, it may even out, but I think it's also going to depend a lot on the screen technology that they're using. Right. But the real advantage that Samsung has is that its battery is removable, unlike HTC. And so that opens up a whole third party market for extended batteries. And as we know from its other phones, like the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2, there's a huge market in, for those batteries. You pay maybe 30 to $50, right. you get a slightly thicker phone, it mm -hmm. thickens the phone a little bit, but mm -hmm. you're talking about a really thin phone as it is, mm -hmm. and maybe you go from getting six or seven hours to getting 10 or 12 hours, right. uh, a really worthwhile trade-off you just can't make with HTC. So it sounds like in the spec department you would vote for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Absolutely. I think the S micro SD card slot and the, bat and the removable battery give users the expansion and flexibility that really puts it over the top. Yeah, so I agree. In this round, I think the Samsung Galaxy S4 wins because of the versatility that you get from expandable memory as well as the ability to replace the battery or put it in a bigger one.